Hey guys, it's Sam here. As the semester winds down, there are projects galore for many different classes. And one of the classes I took this semester um, for my scientific perspective was agroecology. I talked about it earlier in one of my videos. Um, for our final project, we had to make a farm and we had to do the marketing for it, the economics for it, while on top of just doing how are the plants and the animals in our farm going to support each other so that it's like more less less maintenance for the people working at it um so i like really love this project as a film major it really took me out of my, out of my bubble but like also taught me just the a different way of looking at production of a film um but this time it's production of a farm and uh, it was really interesting and I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I did really good on it. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you guys um, my project, and I hope you enjoy. So the area I created was called Pants, Plants, and Pets. Um, the aerial design kind of just shows um, how it would, the alleys would be set up from above. Um, it doesn't look straight, and that's because the way we studied was that the alleys would follow key line design. And so it follows the natural topography of the land so that the water flows more naturally and there's uh, less cost for irrigation. And then the cross-section design shows how each alley would be arranged. Um, I have it in this order because this is how the plants would work best with each other. The bush clover is a nitrogen fixer, which I know is like weird terms for just an XUPOV, but uh, it just basically puts nutrients back into the soil, which is important. Um, further, talk about how the crops support each other, the livestock supports the crops, and the crops support the livestock. Um, the products I would be selling uh, is the UPIC experience. Who doesn't want to put that on their Insta? Um, a petting zoo. As a vegetarian, I couldn't willing, like, knowingly... Um, send my animals to the slaughterhouse that's that wasn't an option for me so instead I'm just gonna let the people pet them why not uh, then from there I made this cute little image of my logo on what the products would be sold in and then we'd be selling tea eggs and wool um, and then like t-shirts and stickers because we all know that laptop stickers are the ish right now um, and after the budget, um, after 10 years, in our 10th year, we would make 800000 over 800000 And cumulati cumulatively, by that 10th year, we'd be making, we would have made over $3 million. Um, this isn't my major, but hey, maybe it should be, because, like, your girl could make bank. Uh, this has been my XGPV. I hope you guys enjoyed.